Greetings everyone, welcome back. Um, for today I'm going to start following some series from an event that was played live physically with the players there in China some days ago, not even a week ago. And uh, from what I've been checking around, apparently none of the major, the big shoutcasting channels, grab hold of this replay. So I guess I'm going to have some nice content to share with all of you guys and hopefully these are going to be some cool matchups because it involves some big names of the StarCraft 2 community. Let me mention that I'm not going to follow any specific order, I just want to share the top gamers with all of you. I'm not going to be concerned about if it's the semi-finals or the round of eight or whatever. I'm not even going to make any mention about that, just going to share the series with all of you. And I'm going to be starting with the best out of five series. This is taken from an event played at Qinyang, Animation Video Games Fair in China, and well it's promoted by the CPL, the Cyber Athlete Professional League, hence the names there on the accounts. They all start with CPL because the accounts basically were created by this organization in China. And as you can see, we're going to have two monsters playing here. We're going to have spawning on this bottom left position. It's Saza. He was formerly a member of Team MYM, Team Meteor Makers, but now he decided to leave and committed all of his resources, all of his efforts to play in Korea and do his best in Korea. And, uh, well, um, what can I say? I don't know if you guys remember, but Saza, uh, he won a tournament called Road to Korea some month ago. And the first prize on that tournament was full expenses paid to fly to South Korea and try to play there in the Code A. So uh, he ha now has a spot in Code A and hopefully you're going to see more of him. He's going to be starting doing well against the Korean pros. And he has a good chance to prove us that he has what he takes here, right here and right now. Because he is facing a top Terran from Korea. It's Marine King Prime. Everyone knows the guy is an awesome player and well though some people say that he's always second place forever second trophies <laughs> but um, he's a solid Terran I mean the guy is very consistent gets very good results on the Korean pro gaming scene and on the GSL just needs a championship he's almost there and hopefully he'll get there if sooner or later. So we're gonna have Swedish Saza, former Warcraft 3 player, now a pro gamer in Starcraft 2, facing against one of the finest playing Terran in Korea, Marine King Prime, on the best out of five. So let's take a look and see how far Saza can go against a huge beast from Korea. Hopefully this is gonna be a cool matchup. For now, and following the builds, as you can see, we have Saza landing a pylon right on the spot where it's supposed to be the add-on for the barracks. So this is a bit annoying. I guess that Saza is just trying to put Marine King Prime off his plan. And now two Marines are going to help clearing out this um, this pylon so he can evolve his uh, uh, build. But meanwhile, doesn't seem like he's very concerned. He's going for the factory after the barracks and probably going to attach the reactor now. A bit of a delay there. Not a big deal, I would say. So while here on Saza's side, as you can see, He's going for that gateway, getting more pylons around his base. I was wondering if he would get some secret tech, maybe position here on this uh, north position on the top of his main base, but doesn't seem to be the case. For now, he's just going from gateway into cybercore, a fairly standard opening here for the um, Protoss player. While on Marine King Prime side, he's going from barracks into factory into starport. So a 1-1-1 opening with the reactor already getting finished here on the barracks. I wonder if he's going to start pumping out a lot of Marines that was the trademark from Marine King Prime when he started getting a bit of visibility. If you guys recall, some brilliant Marine Micro and very, very heavy on the Marine play. And it seems like that's going to be the case. He's going to be massing up a big count of Marines and um, maybe back it up with some Medivacs coming out of that uh, starport. And for now as well, we do have a Hellion trying to help out the Marine force. Facing against a single Stalker, I don't think this Stalker is going to last long. He needs to run away, he needs to escape if he wants to stand a chance against this small group from Marine King Prime. And there it is, he's gonna get finished off, there's no chance. Oh, he almost got the hell in, but still alive and kicking, he can even repair it if he feels like it. And there's even more and more Marines getting pushed down south, close to this rich mineral field. Meanwhile, on Saza's side, he's making a bold maneuver here. As you can see, he's gonna expand out of a single gateway and... It's a bit dangerous on this map, it's hard to defend here to contain aggression. He will be having robotics facility and another gateway getting landed there. There's the second one already finished, third one will be done, followed by the robotics facility, but um, he doesn't have much 
of a force at the moment. Let's take a look. For now, 9 Marines, 1 Medivac, 3 Hellions against 2 Sentries and 1 Stalker. He needs to get some sort of army rolling because, as you can see, we're gonna have Marine King Prime ready to come down south and start bashing away at the Forcer from Saza. Oh, intercepting that probe. And now he's gonna start knocking on the door here on the Natural Expo. At the same time, we did see, we did see a Medivac getting loaded up with some Hellions. They're gonna drop on the back of the base and now he's in trouble. We're gonna follow the Hellions on the picture and picture screen while we follow here the Marines advancing towards the main base into this mineral line. There they are, those uh, um, those Hellions just roasting as many of those probes on the mineral line as possible. And now the forces from Saza are trying to contain the aggression, but boy, this was a big hit and a warning sign, a warning shot for Saza. He didn't have much of a defense and Marine King just took advantage of that. Nice shot there by Saza, finishing off that um, finishing off that medivac and let's take a look at the workers killed. Ooh, 12 workers lost there by Saza. Marine King Prime just profiting all day long, racking up the kills and meanwhile inside his base there's no signs of attempting to expand. As you can see he's gonna mess up more racks and I think he's gonna prepare himself to make a strong solid push while Saza is trying to balance his mineral lines, try to get some probes out and benefit from the income on the two base play. If Saza is able to stabilize that two base play, he will be fine. He's gonna be able to get a solid death ball to crush Marine King Prime. And for now, he's just trying to contain him, as you can see on the supply count. We do have Saza falling a bit behind, 55 against 47. Nothing much. And on the unit composition, we do have that Raven, 10 Marines, two siege tanks against five Stalkers, two Zealots and three Sentries. Um, seems like that the Saza is just making a siege line here in front of the main ramp that gives access to the main base from Marine King Prime. While we do see Marine King Prime just massing up units inside his main base. And that Raven, ooh, it's gonna be so awesome. Especially because as you can see the unit composition here by Saza, fairly heavy on the Stalker, so that point defense drone will be just juicy, yummy against those um, those Stalkers, intercepting all of the shots, while the Siege Tanks and Marines will just completely crush this uh, opposition that Saza is establishing here. He needs more forces, he needs a bigger army if he wants to contain the aggression. We do see him Chrono boosting some Immortals out, while here on his Natural Expo, everything rolling fine, wing a single Banshee advancing trying to rack up some kills, actually got three kills, it's not that much. And at the same time, we do have Saza here just stopping the advancement, sp stopping the moves from Marine King with some force field play on that uh, ramp. So well played by Saza, he continues to have all of those units from Marine King Prime on hold, just hanging there and while he has energy on those sentries, he probably will contain the advance. He's trying to basically establish his economy and pump out more units so he can bring them up here and actually withstand the aggression the moment that all these forces from Marine King will come out. I don't think it will be that easy. As you can see, we do have already a siege tank ready to blast away any sentry trying to approach the ramp to get another force field. And at the same time, we have the flying units putting a lot of aggression, poking and prodding at all the units from Saza and forcing Saza to go down south while the rage, the wrath from Marine King is unleashed. Lots of units coming down finally from that main ramp and they're gonna shoot down these forces from Saza so, so quickly. This is not good. The Banshee even came up again to uh, gather up with the main forces from Marine King Prime to reinforce the army. And now we're gonna have that Raven almost killed, but no, microed back, defended, well protected there with the forces from Marine King just massing up here close to the rich mineral field from Saza and now focusing the fire on that Immortal, Immortal instantly down and there's not much left of the forces from Saza. He got completely crushed here. No opposition whatsoever, no chance whatsoever. You guys can see the difference on the numbers. I mean, 34 Marines, the Raven to contain any kind of aggression with the PDD and he actually had one there and also three Banshees to supply some air support and a lot of uh, destruction and mayhem onto the ground forces of Saza. While on Saza's side, one Immortal, five Stalkers and six Zealots, it's just not enough. Marine King Prime went for this one base play, very aggressive, very consistent as well. You guys seen the results from the uh, early stages of this game. He was able to push all the way down in the, and even 
enter Saza's base and rack up a lot of worker kills as you can see here 14 against 1 so basically we had Marine King Prime making the first victory on this best out of 5 so he's winning 1-0 and from now on it's Saz's turn to show us that he has what he takes he needs to defend if he wants to keep himself standing a proper chance onto this best out of 5 I hope you guys enjoyed this game see you all later have fun